Hello, I am Terry Ann Porter, author of Stitched in Christ, a knit and crochet Bible study devotional journal. And today I am reading from the chapter titled Give and Take Away. I will take away your heart of sin and give you a new obedient heart. Ezekiel 36, 26. We knit or crochet back and forth across numerous rows, forming squares and rectangles. What if we want some shape added to the project? To accomplish this, there needs to be a change in the stitch pattern through increasing and decreasing. God stitches our lives in a similar fashion. He starts with our own creation. You knit me together in my mother's womb, according to Psalm 139, 13. We are given lives filled with friends. Some friends we become very close to, as in the case of Jonathan and David. First Samuel 18, 1 tells us the soul of Jonathan was knit with the soul of David. Do you have someone like that in your life? We are brought together so that your hearts may be encouraged being knit together in love. Colossians 2.2 2. When we become close to others, relationships develop. We share our experiences and learn to trust each other. There are several methods of increase in the knitting process. No matter what method you use, the end result is the same. Where once there was one stitch, now there are two. Just like Jonathan and David, just like you and your best friend, there are two separate people with a shared heart. May the Lord make your love increase and overflow for each other and for everyone else, just as ours does for you, is the prayer of Paul in 1 Thessalonians 3.12. Christ wants a relationship as well. He wants to be stitched into our lives. Christ must become so entwined in our lives that when others look at us, they see him. John 3.30 says, he must increase, but I must decrease. How is this accomplished? Through faith. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Romans 10, 17. One form of decrease used in knitting and in crochet is to join two separate stitches together into one visible stitch. That is what we must do. We must decrease, join with Christ, so that only one is seen. When people look at you, who do they see? Do they see a wife, mother, friend? Do they see Christ? Stitched in prayer this week. Consider memorizing John 3.30. He must increase, but I must decrease. A dishcloth is used to clean dirt and stains. God has offered his son as a sacrifice so we may be forgiven and cleansed of the stains caused by sin. Have you accepted this free gift of salvation? You can do nothing yourself to be cleansed. You cannot become good enough. Only through Jesus Christ is this salvation available. Read Titus 3, 5 through 7. To knit or crochet a sweater, you need to increase in the bust area, decrease at the waist, change hooks or needles to a smaller size for the ribbing. All this makes the sweater form-fitting. Think about what increases and decreases need to be made in your life to become form-fitting with Christ. Luke 17, 5 says, the apostle said to the Lord, increase your faith. Prayerfully consider how you will increase God's role in your life. How will you decrease? Journal your thoughts. Thank you.